Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Suhanna. I make videos and I do upload a new video every single Wednesday. Usually, I didn't upload last Wednesday, but I usually do upload a new video every single Wednesday. Um, as you can see from the thumbnail and the title, yes, this is me refreshing my hair after the gym. Um, if you have wavy or curly hair, then you know working out with wavy or curly hair can be a bitch and a half. One, because it's thick and it makes you extra sweaty. And then two, it goes totally limp after you work out. So I just took a shower and I did shower without a shower cap just so I can have the steam hit my hair. And now I'm gonna show you guys what I do to revive it. This is second day hair. I did my full wash and go yesterday and I am gonna post a full 2C wavy wash and go routine next week just because I don't want to wash my hair two days in a row so I promise you that is coming and also if my audio is not that great right now it's because I don't have a mic yet so just you know bear with me on the audio but uh yeah so let's just dive right in and I'll show you guys what I do to revive this mop on my head. There are three things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a spray bottle with some regular water in it you're also gonna need a leave-in conditioner. I do recommend getting a leave-in conditioner that comes in spray form. So I'm using the Marc Anthony Strictly Curls Leave-In. This is Curly Girl Method approved. It does not have any silicones or sulfates or drying alcohols. So if you're following the Curly Girl Method, this will be good for you. You also need your favorite styling product, preferably a cream styling product. So I'm just gonna be using my Diva Curl Wave Maker, you guys know this is my favorite. I have nothing but good things to say about this. So yeah, let's dive right in. Okay, so I'm gonna start by taking my Wada, and this is just regular tap water. I'm just gonna spritz my hair a little bit. Like three, four, five, six spritz. Um, obviously, depending on how much hair you have will depend on how much water you use. Especially in these like under areas, I kind of just really try to get that because I do have an under layer of straight hair. If you have 2C hair, your under layer is either going to be curly or straight and my under layer is straight but then I have a lot of waves and then I have curls. Like it's stupid. My hair is like every single hair texture. After spraying my hair with the water, I'm going to take my leave-in conditioner and do the same thing. Just spray it and like you don't have to use a spray leave-in conditioner but I recommend using one just because it's so much easier to apply to your hair so just gonna do that and kind of scrunch it in a little bit this is good it says it hydrates extra dry coarse frizzy curls for softness and shine I don't find it makes my hair shiny but it does help with the frizz and my hair is on the coarser sides. And plus it's from the drugstore, so it's just cheap. It's affordable, you know? Curly hair, balling on a budget. So I'm just gonna give my hair a little shake. Shake it out a little bit, scrunch it a little bit. Both sides. I'm gonna take my wave maker and take the smallest, teeny tiniest amount, literally smallest amount this much this much it's like nothing and just apply this scrunch it or squish it um, if you have wavy hair I do recommend like more of like a squishing method squishing technique over like regular scrunching just because our hair needs more hold than our curly counterparts do so the squishing method helps hold that shape a little bit better. I'll flip my hair back over to this side, do the same thing. And just shake out the roots. Um, if you're like extra sweaty or it's not day two, it's like day three, day four, um, I also recommend using a dry shampoo. My favorite one is the Batiste brunette one. I also really like the Living Proof, but that one's a little bit more expensive. So if you want a budget option, check out Batiste. And I think we're good. I just stopped looking into the the flip screen. You see, I keep looking over there. It's just, don't worry, I'm going to get better at this. I swear, I'm just adjusting. <laughs> but anyways, shake the shit out. 
give it a little bit of a scrunch. And lately I've been wearing my hair more on the right side than on the left side, just cause I think it suits my face a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe it's just in my head. I don't know. But I'm just gonna leave it over on this side, just like this. And that's it. So I hope this little mini toot or mini demo, whatever you wanna call it, was helpful to those of you who have wavy and curly hair and you work out and you don't wanna wash your hair every single day. This is just a good way to refresh your curls and get a little bit of life back into them. Like I said, if you're on like day three, day four, I do recommend using a dry shampoo just to keep your scalp a little less oily. But it'll keep your hair pretty good for a couple days until your next wash day. But that's it. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up so I know if there are any curly hair videos or wavy hair videos that you want to see from me or if you want to see me review any specific products or specific brands, leave me a comment below so I can try these products out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I always appreciate a new member of my little village here on the on my corner of YouTube. And yeah, follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me. And I will see you guys next week with my full curly, wavy hair routine. Okay, bye.